What's up guys, I'm Anthony. I'm a product engineer at Born Off-Road. Uh, today I'm gonna to be going over our winch with you and show you how to install it on a vehicle. All right, so first up is the winch itself. Um, we designed this winch to have a more uh, rugged off-road look. Uh, we're offering it in two capacities. We have a 10,000 pound winch and a 12,000 pound winch. Um, the winch itself is IP68 rated, so it's, it's completely waterproof. If you wanna go through a river or anything, uh, you don't have to worry about your winch. It'll still work through that. It comes with all the necessary mounting hardware. Um, it comes with a remote that can be used either wirelessly or you could use this wire to have a wired connection to the, your control box. Um, the control box again, also IP68 rated, so this can go through the ri river as well. Um, this is what will control the winch itself. It has a port on the side here that you can connect the remote to if you wanna have a wired remote connection. Um, Comes with all the necessary wiring that you need to hook up the winch. Comes with a all cast aluminum fair lead. Uh, comes with a forged alloy steel hook um, that has a nice beefy clip here. It's not just one of those bent sheet metal ones that's gonna get all twisted up on you. Um, and then it, every winch will also come with a synthetic rope in a color of your choosing. Um, and that'll include this leash for your uh, hook as well. So the first step to get the winch set up before we put it on the vehicle, uh, we're gonna mount the control box to the top of the winch. Um, the winch comes with four bolts that you can use to mount it there. Then we'll make these wiring connections. We'll wire up the control box to the back of the winch and then it'll be ready to put onto the vehicle. All right, so first we'll mount the winch or the control box up to the top. Um, you can use the four, four bolts that came with the winch and that'll just mount it right onto the top of the winch here. The control box can also be mounted remotely if you choose, uh, but we're gonna mount it to our winch. I'll just uh, snug all these down, but make sure not to over tighten them. All right, so now that we have the control box mounted to the top of the winch, uh, we'll go ahead and make the connections uh, from the control box itself to the winch motor. Um, so to do that, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, and then another 13 millimeter wrench or a 13 millimeter socket. All right, so here are all the terminals on the winch motor. Uh, that's where we're gonna connect the wiring from the control box. On the base of these terminals, you can see that they're colored. So we're gonna match those colors up with the rubber sleeves on the wiring from the from the control box. All right, so to make these connections from the control box to the winch motor, it might be easier to flip the winch over so you can get better access to this. So you can just turn this up on its side. And then we'll start here. Um, we'll just start at this yellow terminal, take off the nut and the two washers that are on there. Uh, and then these two washers. And then just take your wire that has the yellow sleeve on it and connect that to this terminal. And then replace the flat washer and then the lock washer and the nut. And then when that's installed, just make sure that your nut or this, uh, the terminal isn't contacting any of the metal part around it. When you're tightening the terminals, make sure you use a second wrench down on the lower nut to prevent the terminal, terminal from twisting. Um, so you can use a 13 millimeter wrench down here. And then another 13 millimeter, we'll tighten this top one. Um, and then the torque spec on all these is gonna be 35 inch pounds. Uh, so you can use 13 millimeter socket and a torque wrench just to get that to the 35 inch pounds. So once, once that's tightened, just again, make sure that your connections aren't touching any of this metal housing around here. And then you can just slide this sleeve over top of the connection. Just like that. All right, so we'll do the same thing for the rest of the terminals here. So next we'll move on to this red terminal and we'll connect the wire with the red sleeve. So again, just remove the nut on the top and then the lock washer and the flat washer. Uh, just connect the wire here and then replace the flat washer, then the lock washer, then the nut. 
So again, uh, when you're tightening all these, just make sure you use the second wrench down to hold that bottom nut. And then again, 35 inch pounds is the torque spec. All right, so after you get that tightened down, again, just cover the terminal with a sleeve. All right, same thing on this one. We'll go to this black terminal and connect the wire with the black sleeve. All right, and then last one, just cover it with the sleeve. So now those three wires are done. So now we're gonna move on to this last terminal. This terminal that is not color coded is gonna get this small wire coming from the control box, as well as this longer black wire that is separate. Uh, this will be your battery ground wire. So both of these will go to this last terminal. So again, the small wire from the control box as well as your battery ground wire. So get that finger tight. And then the bottom, the bottom of this terminal is a 14 millimeter. So again, hold that with an, uh, a separate wrench. And then it's again, 35 inch pounds. So now all the wiring connections are finished on here and we can move on to the vehicle. All right, so the first step on the vehicle is we're gonna mount the fair lead onto the bumper. Uh, so the fair lead's gonna help guide the rope back onto the winch as you're winching in, as well as protect it from all these sharp edges of your bumper. All right, so to mount the fair lead to your bumper, you'll use the M12 hardware that came with the kit. So you'll put the bolt through the fair lead first and then through the bumper. Then on the back side, you'll start with a flat washer. then a lock washer, and then the M12 nut. All right, then we'll do the same thing on this side. So start with your bolt. Then on the back side, flat washer first, lock washer, and your nut. All right, so once that's snugged up, you're gonna tighten these down. So you'll need a 10 millimeter Allen wrench for the front side and then a 19 millimeter socket or wrench for the back. Just get them nice and snug. And then same thing on the other side. So now we'll uh, get the winch ready to mount to the vehicle. Uh, so the bolts are gonna come up through the bottom of the bumper or your winch plate and bolt into the four corners of the winch. So we'll put these square nuts in the slots uh, that are in the winch. So there'll be one in each corner. All right, so to mount the winch to your bumper, uh, first of all, make sure you either have a winch plate um, or a winch ready bumper um, to mount this. Our winch has a standard four and a half by 10 inch mounting pattern. Um, so that should be standard on any winch plate or bumper, um, any aftermarket that you have on your vehicle. You can use the, the M10 hardware that came with the kit to mount the winch up through the bottom of your bumper. So you start with the bolt, put a lock washer on first, uh, then a flat washer. And then you'll need a 16 millimeter socket for the bolt. And you can go right up from underneath and put a bolt in all four corners to secure your winch. All right, so now that you have your winch attached to your bumper, the next step is gonna to be to route the wiring to your battery. 
Um, so some things to keep in mind with that is where, wherever you route your wiring, you don't want it rubbing up against anything sharp. You don't want to keep it away from all moving components in your engine bay. And you want to keep it away from heat sources like your exhaust headers. All right, so now obviously every vehicle is going to be different, but you want to take your, your black wire, go right to your uh, battery ground or your battery negative. Uh, your red wire goes right to the battery positive. Um, and for me, I'm going to route the wires up behind my grill, behind this shroud here, and up right along the side of her to the battery. Once you get your cables up to your battery, uh, you want to attach your black cable to your battery negative and then your red cable to your battery positive. So that's what I'll do now. And then we'll put the red wire on the positive. All right, and again, make sure your cables aren't rubbing on anything sharp and keep them away from all the moving components and heat sources. Um, if your cables are rubbing up against something, you can use a plastic wire loom or a, a braided abrasion guard. You can put that on the wire. Um, you can also zip tie them up out of the way to keep them away from any moving components. All right, so now that the winch is attached to your bumper and it's all wired up, uh, the next step is gonna be to spool the rope onto the winch drum. Uh, so we'll show you how to do that now. All right, so one end of your rope is gonna have this bracket on it, and your rope kit is gonna come with a bolt that'll attach it to the winch drum. So what you're gonna do is feed that end of the rope through your fair lead, and on your drum, there will be a tapped hole. So you just align the hole in your bracket to that hole in the winch drum, and then you attach the bracket with that bolt. And then you can use a five millimeter Allen key to tighten that down. All right, so now that you have the rope attached to the spool drum, uh, the next step is gonna be, we're gonna temporarily spool up the entire rope onto the winch. Um, then you're gonna wanna, at some point, get outside. Um, you're gonna wanna spool this up under tension. So we'll show you how to do that later in the video. All right, so before you start spooling in your rope, turn on your vehicle to make sure you don't drain the battery as you're winching the rope in. So next you want to engage the clutch on your winch. So take your clutch handle and turn it to the engaged position. That'll lock the gears in with the motor and allow you to spool in the rope with your remote. All right, so to turn on your remote, just hold down the power button until the, that lights up red. That's how you know it's on. Then grab your rope, keep your hands back away from the fair lead. You never want to get your hands close to there as you're winching in. And just hold the in button on the remote and that'll start winching your rope in. Just keep a little tension on it as it's winching in and make sure it lines up on the spool in nice even layers like this. And just keep a little bit of attention on the rope as you're pulling it in. We're just temporarily spooling it up right now. We're gonna have to unspool this and uh, re-spool it under more tension. We'll go outside and show you how to do that later. Okay, now you're gonna stop when you have just a few feet of rope left and we'll attach the hook and then we'll spool it the rest of the way in. All right, so next we're gonna attach the hook. You'll just take off this cotter pin and then you can put the hook through this loop at the end of the rope. and then put your cotter pin back on. And then we'll attach this leash to your hook, your hook as well. So that way you can keep your hands away from any pinch points as you're reeling it in. And now that's, that's done, you can reel this the rest of the way in. Make sure you're holding onto the leash so to keep your hands away from any dangerous areas.
So you also have the option to use the remote as a wired connection rather than the wireless. So your kit will come with this cable. Uh, one end of the cable has a plug that'll plug into the top of the remote like this. And the other end of the cable will plug into your control box on your winch. So you just take the rubber cap off the back of the control box and the, this plug will go right into there. So now your, winch, now your remote will work the same way as it did before, but it's just going through this wired connection rather than wireless. All right, so next to, to completely finish installing this rope, to do it the correct way, um, we're gonna unspool this whole rope and we're gonna put some tension on the rope as we're spooling it in. And that's just to make sure that your rope layers are nice and tight on there so your rope doesn't get crushed under itself. Um, so we're gonna use a tree saver, wrap that around the tree, hook our hook to the tree saver, and then either pull your vehicle up a small incline or put a little bit of pressure on the brake as you're spooling it in, and that'll make sure your rope layers are nice and tight on your winch. All right, so you can disengage the clutch on your winch, and that'll allow you to just pull out this rope, and we'll just pull it out to an anchor point. All right, so now uh, we're gonna take a tree saver, wrap this around the tree, uh, hook our winch line to this, and then we'll be able to use this to spool in the line. All right, so you're gonna take out most of your winch rope. Um, you're gonna to wanna to leave one layer left on the winch drum. We have a sleeve at the very end that's black that'll show you don't extend past there. So once you hit that black sleeve, stop taking out line. And that's how you know that you still have enough left on your drum. So when you're winching in, you wanna make sure you're going straight on, nice and perpendicular to your rope. Um, that'll make sure that it spools evenly across your winch. You don't want it to bunch up in one end. You want that rope spooled evenly across the entire thing. So the best way to do that is just make sure you're going straight perpendicular the direction the, the rope's pulling you. All right, so you want about 600 pounds of tension on your line when you're pulling it in. Um, so since we're on a flat surface right now, I'm just gonna put light pressure on the brakes as we're winching in. You could also pull yourself up a small incline to get that tension. Um, but the main goal is when you get the winch, when you get the line wound up on the drum, you want that line to be nice and tight. If you squeeze it, you don't want it to be able to move at all. All right, so what you're looking for with this is when you, when you have the winch spooled in, if you grab on some of this and try and squish this rope, you can feel it's nice and hard and it's not moving at all. That's what you want. You want that to be nice and tight on there. You don't want it like this. If you would grab it and you can press on that at all and you can see it move, that, that's how you know it's too loose on your drum. So you wanna make sure it's nice and tight on there. All right, so now when you get to a point where you only have a few feet of rope left, um, you can use your remote to just let a little bit of that out. So that'll allow you enough slack to unhook it. And then we'll just reel the rest of it in just by walking it in. All right, so now you can hold on to this strap on your hook. Um, you wanna use that to make sure your hands don't get in anywhere between the fair lead and the hook. Um, so you can just hold on to this, just apply a little bit of tension and just reel it in the rest of the way. All right, so that's how you install your Born Off-Road winch. Um, and now it's all set up, you're ready to go hit the trails. So subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our install videos and check out our website, born.com, to see all of our recovery gear.